Hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final of Super League. We've got two of the best players in the world playing for you now. We've got Seabros with Undead, he's won the toss, he's chosen to receive. Up against Andy Davo with Necromantic. And in the booth we've got the legend Eliod. Hello. I am here. <laughs> he is here, honestly. And uh, very interesting, these were the old Euroball rules, 2024 Euroball uh, rules, not 2025, important distinction. Um, Seabros has gone with a two-point package here, so he's got an extra skill, but was limited to three skills of, of like, max, including starting skills. So that he was only able to give what? block to one ghoul, right? He was only able to give block to one ghoul because he already had two block on his whites. So he's got one block on the ghoul, two wrestlers, and then three guards, of course, and a tackle. And uh, Andy Davo chose the extra money package. So he got rid of a zombie, replaced it with a rookie ghoul, and has gone standard four guard, three block. Oh, oh, oh instant oh. stabilization. Beautiful stabilization. Now we're going to smash with three dices. I like this from Seabros, not going directly behind the line. Good. I always dislike it when people go directly behind the line. Instant and full. Kaz. Oh. Smush. No oh, region. Really good. Wow. He's nearly won the game already, hasn't he? Look at that, Immort game strong. <laughs> <laughs> <Fucking sequels. laughs> Get the emote in for the instant cars. Oh my god, another one? No, just a stun. I wonder if he'll push this one. Oh no, he hasn't got put down, so he's gonna blitz the zombie probably, isn't it? Even though it exposes a zombie. Because banging things is good. Banging things is good. Ah, surprised he blitz. Oh, wait, no, he can put some that's bad. Dup. Dup, dup. Dup, dup, dup. Urzel dup. It was a. Uh, you know, Mesut Urzel. Don't know how uh -huh. that's it. Uh, yeah, there was somebody. <laughs> in Germany, there was somebody walking along the street and just looked exactly like Urzel. That's not a great story, is it? But I, <laughs> was it Urzel, Chewie? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think he walks anywhere, does he? He'd have a he'd have like a helicopter. Helicopter, yeah. Yep. This is the problem, isn't it? Now, now you you want to use your like you want to be exerting your mummies. On your opposing players, but you've also desperately got to protect them. So it's a tough, it's a tough mm. balance to get right, isn't it? You really, really don't want them getting clawed. Right? That's the worst thing that can happen is they get clawed by the by the uh, wolves. So you've got to really get them banging somehow. To be fair, Dimmy hates this matchup more than Seabroads because Dimmy doesn't have skills on the mummies, whereas Seabos have got a couple of guards, so he can keep them together and make them a bit harder to deal with, can't he? I just think two is wrong. Pardon? I said I just think two is wrong. Okay. That's, that's a fair opinion to have. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, well, people are entitled to opinions, aren't they? <laughs> like, nobody yeah. knows. Like, it's not like no. Dibby's definitely right or you're definitely right. But I, I don't play enough on Dead or, or Necro to have an opinion other than that Dimmy's wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's that's more than reasonable. <laughs> it just seems to me that mummies are really good. <laughs> They are really good, but but the problem is, they get hit by. Hit, they get Did hit by. Uh, they get hit by wolves. Yeah. And when they get hit by wolves, then they mm. cease to be good. 
So you have but to like, protect them. Mummies, mummies hit their people by wolves, by god. What? Mummy, when the necro people get hit by wolves or by mummies, then they're dead. <laughs> what? Uh, it's all very well saying the mummy, the wolves can punch the mummies, which is good. But the mummies can just punch everybody, which is good. They can, yes, they can. But the thing is... Also, this is, like, uh, spicy. Really rowdy, yeah. The thing is, like, removing a zombie isn't so good, is it? But getting a mummy removed is basically game over. That, yeah, that's the, that's the true, thing. The stakes true. Are There's a lot of variance in what happens to the mummies, for sure. Yes, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing. That's yeah. what I mean. I, I feel it's, like, scarier. I feel like it's a scary matchup for the, for the undead rather than a terrible one. So we've got it's the massive. classic kind of trying to give the Necro too many fires to fight here. Yeah. And the hope that it's a net gain. I feel like it won't be. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> instant. Inst instantly proved wrong. <laughs> 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 I feel like on average it wouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, obviously no, no. sucking off the real instantly is good. Might 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 not be worth it though still. Uh, still. Yeah, like loads of hits to come in. Like, yeah, this have is... Have a go at the mummy if this is a pow. This is rowdy. Could also like chain in a zombie for one day on the ball. <laughs> that really doesn't seem worth it, but it is a possibility. <laughs> it, yeah. Probably just gonna be one Ding that mummy on the right, but that's not bad, is it, with a wraith and mm, four bad to knock it down. He'll just get the power. Does he move him across here? We... Yeah, it's it's tough because like it is hard to hit them with wolves because not only the strength 5, but also the frenzy. Like, yeah. Hitting a strength 5 guy on the first hit is awkward. Hitting him on the second hit, yeah, is even more awkward, right? Unless you've got the fleshes in good positions. Yes. You don't really have fleshes in the right position to hit. Oh, unless we, like, didn't stay and we removed that guy. Oh, sorry, if we didn't follow when we removed that oh. guy. Oh, oh, no, we still, we still won't be able to follow. Oh, no, we... we oh, no, we, no, no, no. <laughs> sure. So, you, yeah. You can set up a hit in, in terms of this guy hitting just 2 into 2. But not using the fleshies. But yeah, that's the key thing: is the fleshies. If the fleshies uh, do things. Oh Bunny yeah, we we, we could we could push into that wolf, couldn't we? Yeah. We could blitz into the wolf. Yeah. I mean, saying that he got away with it, he hasn't really, has he? He's taken a KO'd Garda and he's taken a stun zombie, and yeah, he's still yeah. got more hits to go. So is this? Yeah, two he doesn't two. give a fuck about the. Uh... Oh, he... oh yeah, it is doing two. Yeah, derp. It does mean that it's hard to get this one on the mummy, the other mummy, which speak buckling that, I guess. But the stun, stun. is pretty nice. It is. Could she have fire with a zombie to make a 2 on the left? What if we yeah. do that before or after the uphill? I think before. Mm-hmm. It's going to... No, I thought it was going to go. Oh, it's... it's a... Mm. I mean, just keeping if, if we want to just run away and score now we can obviously we don't really want to run away and score but yeah that's the thing and it just keep the center and then if they push they've got to push down the side and if they yeah. push down the side you've got fleshies and wraiths and wolves so you're really quite all right with them going down the side aren't you and you're also quite all right with them scoring early so yeah just dodge off rather than uphill i think the uphill but why maybe better isn't it yeah it just just flat out better, right? Like, yeah, yeah. The only difference is the square in which you fall down, surely. Yeah, yeah, it's way better. Yeah, the upside is too too big, isn't it? One in four chance but, of incredible but upside. The, the the downside is just, you know, more it's likely to dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's thirty. It's, it's thirty percent instead of thirty three. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Just, I don't think the square is that valuable. Yeah. I, no, I don't different. either. And there, and there wasn't a, like there wasn't a bad pushback square either. Like it, like if this, no, if yeah. this square was taken, yes, then you've yeah. got the argument of pushing him into there. But yeah, he uh -huh. pushed him clear. Definitely should have upheld him. Yeah. Only if we chain the drone mummy forward a square here. <laughs> I'm thinking we just stay here with Square and we chain the mummy forward just to get it up the pitch a bit. Yeah, yeah, I don't hate that. Because you don't really want to walk off and leave the mummy alone. No. So I think I'm pretty much staying put this turn. No, don't go for that. Oh, wait, what's happening? Oh, here the wraith, the white. Okay. And then follow and then blitz the wolf with the mummy. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. And that protects your mummy a little bit. Obviously, you don't get any advancement, but you protect your mummy. You protect your mummy. And uh, hopefully bang out a wolf. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is looking real bad for Seabros already, isn't it? That yeah. turn of give him loads of hits <laughs> didn't really work out very well. It did get a reroll burn. Rick would be very happy. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh. oh, KO. Well, now all of a sudden the pendulum has swung back. <laughs> Bit of a ding dong battle. Yeah, it just seems pretty dicey. Yeah, it's it's claw hits on mummies and mighty blow hits on pretty much anything. <laughs> Super interesting. Like blitzing the wrestler is a bit shit, isn't it? He's got dodge and he's got armor seven, and you I, you get your wolf trapped over there. There's a there's a argument for just blitzing this one with a wolf, and then like having a reset turn, isn't there? I don't hate that. My first instinct is to blitz this zombie and have a reset turn. But let's see what Davo comes up with. Yo. Looking somewhat similar. Been high on armor breaks this game, hasn't it? Yeah, this makes sense actually, doesn't it? Because if you blitz this fool, you do get this hit, and then I guess the, the that's the easy way of getting the two D, isn't it? With the, the flesh. We even just follow up here. Yeah. yeah. Sucks making a blockless blitz instead of a block full blitz, but oh my oh, god, oh. oh. Seabros is getting punished for his heavy basing. His aggressive basing wow. has led to a KO in a Kaz on whites. Oh, oh yeah, the emote is. <laughs> oh, it's all of a sudden, it's just terrible, isn't it? Mm hmm. Nice. See, it turns out that the real reason this matchup is bad for the undead is because zombies are blocking whites. Yeah, yeah. It's four guard, isn't it? It's four guard versus less guard, ultimately. I don't know. He just gave those hits away. <laughs> he did, yeah, he did. He did. Tusk, tusk, sea brawls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had a plan. Yeah. It, it just didn't. Honestly, I wonder if we potato here we can 1D that ghoul on the right with the wrestle. If we push it, we can like do a million GFIs and screen. Score next turn because it's looking a little bit awkward. I guess maybe not. The undead are down. The neck are down too as well. Maybe I'm panicking a bit much. The removals are the same. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's a it's a wolf and a, a wolf and a zombie versus two whites. Yeah, I think he's got a point though. Like, at least in terms of my line of thinking. Mm. Mm. Uh. They were GFI with the ghoul. Yeah, one GFI with the, the far right ghoul. Yeah. Should... Don't want to do dodge. 
should the undead um, take... I'm not saying you should throw in the towel. <laughs> no one's saying you should throw in the towel. Um, uh, you can't have four guard mode ready. So so this, this had a limit of three of the same skill. What, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the package let you take an extra skill. Oh. But you were limited to three oh. of the same skill right. on the roster, including starting ones, which is why. But only if got... you took this package. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. But that's why he's got like seven skills instead of six. Um, but it limited his skills. That's why he's only got one block. Ghoul. Otherwise, he'd probably have two block ghouls, right? But that would have taken the four total, so he couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, if you take four gar, then you then you only have two skilled up ghouls. And you lose a skill, you know, um, overall. And like defenseless ghouls are like kind of dead meat, right? They get targeted relentlessly and removed easily. So like, uh, no, I think you'll find that the white blitzers are dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. So, yeah. So it's looking pretty sorry now because like these mummies are getting banged on and our ball separated from them. It's like next turn, what do we go back to the banged on mummies? Probably not score or do like a potato ish down the left or sideline or something. That's gonna be a bit of a mess as well. Yeah. So, so he's in a bit of a pickle, as they say. Now, Davo's gonna commit the wolf to hit the mummy, isn't he? Got to, yeah. I think so. he, he is fast enough to get back into a reasonable position, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, he he could even joke. use the mummy to chain the fleshy onto the uh, ghoul and get an extra hit. Oh, well, baby. Nice. It's, not, it's not an extra hit because he, he'd be giving up the hit on the other goal, but he would be basing the ball with the flesh. Yeah, cool. it's very nice positional. And then you get the then you get the uh, other wraith, you get the wraith in as well, don't you? It's really nice. That is a really nice blitz, yeah. Of course, if you roll a power on the first mummy hit, you might just think, you know, fuck it, I'll take the power. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than power. risk the mummy just being standing. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, this looks really nice. Oh, well, he's already oh, no. not done it, but I, I really liked it. I really liked Didn't it. Didn't hit the ghoul either. I mean, mm. fair enough, more chance to knock the zombie over, but. And the mummy, the ghoul, the ghoul, the mummy, the ghoul is kind of stuck anyway. Yeah. Push. Oh, oh I really got the push. I really liked your plan, Elliot. Oh well, wouldn't have worked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it would have given you the chance, wouldn't it? Which, so. Yeah. And I guess we're just going to go in front with the Wraith and the zombies. The zombies could both base, right? Like might as well. Yeah, I might base with the Wraith, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have based yeah. with just the Wraith. But now that I think, because the zombies are just going to base, then I then I base the rate as well, right? Yeah. Is the way I'd look at it. Yeah, I thought he'd put that left zombie next to the wraith instead on that ghoul. Yes, I think... But then it does open up the easy hit on the middle zombie, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is... This is I think this is stronger defensively. It's just the left, left more would protect the wraith, but probably it's, that's less of a thing than just making it stronger defensively, I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but it's interesting because yeah, this this potato is looking mm. like his best option now. Yeah, he can go outside if he gets the Falopern's pow. Yeah, dodge away with the wrestle ghoul. He's he's got something. <laughs> he could try and swing back towards the the mummies, the the banged out mm. mummies. Yes. But it's not that. It's just weird, isn't it? It's just weird. It's, I find it tough playing against Necro. With Those are the wrestle. Down. The problem. Oh, pro problem with the wrestle is that I don't think hitting with wrestle is any better because you need the power regardless. I think yeah. that both down still fucks you, even yeah. with the wrestle, right? 
Yeah. And then obviously, well, uh, but then maybe doing the dodge first is better. You'd rather fail the dodge with the rest at the start before your guy is sidelined. <laughs> yes. Than fail it at the end. So yeah, fair play actually. Maybe maybe the rest will hit is better. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Looks like sideline cages go. <laughs> he can't sideline cage, can he? Can't when you walk. Can't walk. Can't walk. I mean, I guess you could like just screen. Yeah, do some GFIs and screen, but then like. You are going to get hit, but maybe just maybe not that bad. What's that? Is that a ghoul above that mummy? Is that this a ghoul, ghoul over there? Can, this ghoul can... Oh, yeah, this one's a ghoul, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he's, he's... And he can clear the mummy even as well, so... He's just getting 2D'd if he just screens. Unless that other... Unless that vessel ghoul does bear work. Which mm. he could do, to be fair. One, yeah. two... Four, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Yeah, I yeah. think we can. Yeah, I think four we can... plus three plus, and then it'll run go all the way around. Is that what you're thinking? Or come up this way? One, two, three, four. Either way, you can go either way. You can either. Yeah, we 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 could we could make the full screen. Yeah, we could we could we could have done, you know, a full screen across the pitch or or mark the goal. But oh yeah, we could have also done with an extra dodge and double GFI. We could have just done a full screen across the, the width of the pitch. Oh well, I couldn't. It got across half the width of the pitch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't because he won in fours. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's not like bad, not a sideline, better than the sideline. But he's uh, yeah, he's got he's left the hit arm, but it's it's not a nice one. So yeah. this is pretty good. And he's in a scoring range. That was the main thing for me that this had over the sideline cage, is that you're I mean, in the scoring sideline range. cage. He could be in scoring range, right? Well, but it would have been a G, it would have been a GFI for the wrestler. Because you can't leave like a sideline with a five plus in, can you? I don't. Yeah, think. fair enough. I would, I I would have not want the sideline with a five plus in. So he's only got one reroll. So I, I liked conserving the reroll, and uh, and then this gives you like the outwards way on the next turn to try and score. So I, I yeah, I like. I this. mean, with with a wolf, this is basically a sideline with a five plus in, though, right? Because yes, you can yeah, stuff true. him anyway. <laughs> true, true. I didn't think of that. Elliot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Shit. I'm an idiot. Well, that's that's fine, isn't it? If you see brawls. Not so fine. Oh yeah, we're pretty ha pretty happy with this. Not so fine for Dave, but fine for sea brawls. And now the mummies are actually winning the fight, aren't they? The problem is, you, maybe you can try and reconnect with them next turn, right? Like rather than scoring, maybe you can try and reconnect with your mummies here that are now winning this fight. Mm. Oh. oh. Outrageous. Wait, why? Oh, he freed the Wraith. Yeah, yeah freed the Wraith. Three yeah. plus. Yeah. Outrageous. Yeah, good. Outrageous. Oh. The stun was actually huge, wasn't it, for Seabros there as well? I have to get in the knockdown. Mm. Yeah. Oof. What are we doing? Dodge. Dodge wanding the uh Oh guess the mummy. <laughs> Outrageous. Not winning this fight so hard anymore, is he in the middle? <laughs> no. All the knockdown zombies can get up though, and if he reconnects then he's got a score anyway, so he's pretty much gotta go for the score here, I think. One D. So I think we go with a wrestle ghoul, right? Yeah. And then if you if you do push, then you can two D the the ghoul and not dodge with the ball carrier. Yeah. Oh wait, no, hang on, sorry, there's a fucking zombie behind that fucking bed sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can one, you can one D. Oh. Yeah, or we'll just dodge. Yeah. yeah, just dodge then, yeah. Yeah, dodge. Or jump then. if you wrestle. Yes. Oh wait, no, it's a four plus jump. Yeah, but we guess we have to. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 you wouldn't, no, you wouldn't, you just blitz him directly forward. Oh, from there, yeah, do it. Yeah, blitz him I was thinking about having the wrestler guy free, but only just yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Gets the push. Plim-plom push. 
And yeah, the one D's worse. There's no way to free up anyone to cancel this assist. Oh. The, the one, so the one D's just basically worse because it's still a three plus. Yeah. Except this one, you've got a. Yeah. Skill the thing is, it's slightly worse failure state because the balls are on the floor, but yeah. um, like it's next to the side bag, it's just gonna get surfed or whatever. Yeah. It's barely, barely a better failure state. Yeah. And then it means you've got ball three rolls for the double GFI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which you're going to need. It's not a real choice, but to bang it in. I don't think. No, looks like it's going for it. Oh, the touchdown oh, dance. <laughs> Can't do a touchdown dance on turn six. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was touchdown dancer. That's, that's just good. sad. That's <laughs> yeah, just that sad. was a bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf stays out. Ooh. And uh, White returns. So now, Seabrose is winning the removal game. about this I think he's got to try and do like something else <laughs> I don't know what but yeah something like, else just 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 why just go why yeah. oh it's three turns so oh hang on it's three turns okay it's three turns yeah still still you take wide right like chevron or something I think so something shoving uh, something chevron-esque some people yeah. do that though right some people like to be like deeper for the defense, like you see some people set up really deep sometimes, it's weird. I've never done that. I don't know if it's like sometimes good or not, I'm not sure. Yeah. It's kind of like a bit like Seabos has done now. He's quite deep. Quite and quite narrow, like <laughs> compared to the Chevrons. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Oh, alright, gotta go back. The one wolf, I guess, is going to be. I think I'd have put the chevrons. I might have even put the. Uh... The problem about putting mummies on the line is that he's got to use his race for punching and assisting anyway because he can't score. I guess it stops him kind of like screening a bit. It's like maybe all three guards on the line, although it appears stupid, would at least. <laughs> no, it's pretty stupid, isn't it? But it would do something to have them all on the line. It would do something. But yeah, maybe not enough, eh? Something to think about anyway. I did think about it. <laughs> not for very long. <laughs> but I think it's right to think about it, right? It's the sort of thing you should think about. Like, if you've got, like, you know, some strong boys, then you could think, oh, cause should, I, should I put them on the line ever? Like, there are some times. Oh god, a vicious ref. It's a stunned ghoul. I mean, it doesn't look like Davos, you know, going down anywhere. <laughs> going down in anywhere to doing anything here. And that stun's actually critical, isn't it, being the ghoul? Because there's only two receivers. For this ball, so he gets the he gets the instant, he gets the the dream ball down. Right, like this is the player that you have to focus on. as Sea bros, because the rates are not a not a threat. So I'm, you know, maybe Sea bros can stop this. Treaty. There's a very clear argument to be made for blitzing this guy and then coming for the ball here, isn't there? I 
think this is a this is a bit too rowdy from Dave. Or uh, we can we can tag out the wolf here. We can blitz him, and then we can uh, base this school and have like some pressure on the ball. That's the pick up. I quite like basing the ball, honestly, because you can base the ball and base the wolf and base the goal. Right? You can just base all three scoring threats here. Blitz him, then go back, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. So you could GFI with him to base the. Or you can just base with this one. This is already not. I, I like. I like my play more than this. I like blitz him and then come back in. A zombie bases him and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Like, so you get a back base from the ghoul. Zombie base there and ghoul base there. So then all of his good, then all three of his scoring threats are all based. He's only got one blitz. And he's suddenly basically stops and scoring, doesn't it? Basically stops and scoring that that time. So I quite like that. Never mind, not the end of the world. And this might be better. I know. Some people I just don't understand it then. So he did base the wolf there, but ball landed. See, this is what I like going for one of these two. I mean, this one's better, right? Because if you go for this and only push him, you don't get through. Whereas if you push this guy, you still get through. I like going for these through here because now, like, one blitz gets to both of them. But now he's got both ghouls unmolested. It's still tricky though, you know, it's, it's well be enough. This is still good defence by C Bros. Just not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad, a uh, genuine usage of that. Yep, table's taking a bit of time to think. This is tricky. This is tricky. So 
also this other ghoul is doing nothing. So he's got ball carrier ghoul and he's got wolf. I guess that other ghoul couldn't do a whole lot anyway, right? So let's give him up. I guess he hasn't, he could potato. He hasn't given up, has he? He can potato over here. I oh, just a potato through the middle. attacked the uh, only already. I don't hate this actually. Yeah, he should have already been tagged. The flesh it can go in there or like there and like bracket him somehow. Yeah he's gonna go for the bracket. The danger, well, I mean, this is a bit shit, isn't it? Because he's got a free guard straight in. So then he can blitz. And then 2D. But then I guess he needs to... Uh... It's not that shit, is it? And Seabro's got no rerolls. Oh, man. So yeah, pretty pretty good solve by Dave or this. Flip me. Just quietly couldn't have done it if his ball was based. I guess he was just dodged. Right? Wow. Has to just be Oh, do you know what? He could he could put the guard in and then zombie 3D blitz in, and then 2D with wrestle. That's the play, isn't it? That's the obvious play. Should have done it 10 hours ago, C bros. That's uh, that's absolutely instant. It's guard in. These two assisting 3D in. Yeah. So the the uh, wide up to there. Two players here. No wrong square. This is. Incorrect. Okay, blitzes him. Ah, uh, so, yeah, okay. Incorrect. I was incorrect. This is a 1 in 36 to fail. Whereas my my one would have been a 1 in 27 to fail. So, C. Bros's move was better in terms of stopping the score, right? 1 in 36 and a 1 in 27. My way had a mighty blow smash, which is obviously great and the main thing to think about. But, no, fair play, well done, Seabros, bad gym. And he gets that guy up as well, yeah. So, no, much better from Seabros. Gets the wrestle. And I think that defends it. Yep. The wolf is out of range. He might be able to chain the wolf forward. Huh. Stupidly. But very unlikely to be able to chain the ball. He does have the Wraith as a scoring threat. So, you know. Still a chance. Can he chain the ghoul? Oh yeah, end of an era, Jimmy. One, two, three, four, it's double. Yeah, he only needs one square, so yeah, he can definitely chain the ghoul, yeah. Like, it's still a bit shit. Well, he can actually, he can just move it so that he can't, right? He can just, uh, he can probably move this to here, then that'll make it very difficult to chain the ghoul. That's exactly where he puts it. Well done, Seabros. 
It's still possible, right? But now it's very, very difficult. So yeah, really good turn. I see brawls. And he's he's got the ball. He's got the ball, uh, Niagara. So he could he could uh, make a six plus dodge, and then blitz this guy into there into there, chain him, and then run the good in the end zone. Then walk back, hand it off to the wolf, who then runs forward and passes it to him. So it's 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 not over, but it looks like uh, Dave is not trying six plus dodges from zombies. It could have done all right. This zombie could have gone all the way around one, two, three, four, double GFI and stuff. I mean, this is probably better, isn't it? Clawing a mummy. Clawing a mummy is almost certainly better than going for ridiculously low odds. Chain forward, million dodges, pass. Does the wolf come back? He does. So now Seabros is down the tackler, and Devo is only down a zombie, so now Devo has the advant on pitch advantage. He is 1 0 down though, so that he can only win by taking it to overtime. Right now. And any stop from Sea Brawls will win him the game. Devil's down to 3 minutes of time bank, Sea Brawls on 5 minutes. So, you know, that could be a factor. Dave will bleeding time bank. Wraiths of Ghosts of Squirrels. I'm trolling Royal Rainbow, yeah. Yeah, I'm trolling. I always troll with the the wraith the wraith scoring threats and the ghoul regions. They're the, they're the two big trolls of undead and necro. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness, he gets a blitz. It's really deep though. Really deep. Flip me. Do you just instantly go for the wolf hit? Or do you go for like the mummy? Yeah, you can't really, you can't actually blitz with the mummy, can you? Because it's cheerful. Well, you can, but not very easily. Do you even slam in the mummies? Oh man. Oh man. You could put in like mummy and blitzer and then blitz the uh, fleshy. I just do it this way as well. So that's three. And then you probably should move through the two first sea rolls in case you dub skull. Whatever the other two are gonna be. Ooh, he could have know. dodged out with a ghoul and then leapt over the fleshy. He could have done, but he wasn't going to, was he? <laughs> Welcome back, Elliot. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I think I think moving these. I might have put the 
and then we one to the right, and then the, uh, you know, and also the zombie, but yeah, could have done that move first, and probably should have, but yeah, different ball game now with both walls back. Still Blood Bell, Jimmy. <laughs> Fuck off, Elliot. <laughs> wow, a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I was only joking. Yeah. Yep. Off. Was he trying to chain off there? Probably. Didn't work, did it? Got rustled. It's a double powers here. I, whereas if that had been a mummy, just couldn't have hit it at all, right? Like that, that was that was my thinking. Um. But. What's interesting is by doing this is Sea Bros has, has encouraged the full line of fighting. Which leaves him susceptible to men coming around the sides, putting pressure on his balls. Instant removal. Classic wolf. Wolves are just terrifying, aren't they? Ooh! Yeah, I thought he let it go. That's why it's big, right? Because it's not big enough that he'd re-roll it. But that means that it could be big. Because he's not going to re-roll it. And now, Seabros is like, fuck it all in. I, I'm sure Seabros are going to be like, it's going to kitchen sink this now. What do you think, Elliot? I think Seabros is probably pretty high chance to win this game at the moment. Probably is, isn't he? Yeah, I think that was a big... That encourages the... Um, Very encouraging. About 70%, I'd say. Hey! <laughs> Probably 70%. I mean, he's got the touchdown, which is big, isn't it? Like, having the touchdown means that Devo only wins by making it to overtime. Literally the only way you can possibly win now is is by making it to overtime. Oh my goodness, that is a blockless block. Bawach. Oh. I would expect to try and get something through before now. You can put the guard in here, can't you, to punch the wolf? And then punch the fleshy and then blitz the wraith and then come through there? Not really. Uh... This looks like there might just be... It's funny because this is the situation that I tried to engineer versus Andy, right, in my game versus him uh, last season. <laughs> um, that I still remember because uh, I was thinking, like, I wanted to try and get around the sides because I knew he'd kind of, like, you know, he'd do the same wall to fight me and I thought he'll let, he'll let in, you know, space around the sides but I just never had the... Like the chance to get round the sides, and I had like the movement and the chance to get round the sides. So, fair play to Seabros for finding a way. And he does have a player in scoring range now, so you know Devo's got to respect that, hasn't he?
Yep. Yep. <laughs> I mean, now the failed pickup could just be GG, couldn't it? So he's got to do something, but everything's based, and there's no way to free them up because there's a big old line of undead in the way. I mean, the something is roll of three plus, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not really appropriate for my channel, but... <laughs> Tell you what, C Bros, not only has he got the uh the emote equity with uh Creek, he's also got Creek halfling in. halfling uh chickens. I really like the idea of the equity the equity swingometer. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately I made like the world's most half-hearted attempt at that and then gave up. Uh, oh my god, yeah, the Rick one with, with Rick Mad, Rick Glad and everything. was. Oh, good. yeah, yeah, they're good. Oh, Max 69 II. Um, C Bros is a very good player who has uh, done a lot better recently on in Blood Bowl on line and on tabletop. He won the Super League last season. He's the defending champion and uh, plays for Denmark on tabletop and did quite well in Euro Bowl. Um, Devo, I'm surprised you don't know who Devo is. is uh, he is streaming right now. He is the number one Blood Bowl 3 streamer and he was number three in tabletop before Euro Bowl. Has won Blood Bowl Super League in the past. Um, he had a shocking Euro Bowl by his standards. So uh, has dropped to forty-three. Great answer to a completely different question there. That was a completely different question. Yes, sorry. Wow. <laughs> well, that's already that's already happened. So why haven't you watched it? <laughs> Is the answer to that question? It was a great que It was a great answer, though, wasn't it? Go, go, me. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, competitive. Yeah, thanks. Um, the other two people in the semi-finals were the best player in the world, absolute legend of tabletop, um, number one in our hearts for like years and years and years, um, absolutely dominating, um, Dimmy G, and the other guy was uh, you know, someone who plays tabletop a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Olivier Delac, there you go. So no, Olivier Delac is of course the, the number. Yeah, uh, there's the there's the YouTube, yeah. yeah. No, of course, Olivia Delac is the is the highest ranked tabletop player, and Dimmy is lovely and good at blood ball, isn't he? He's very good at blood ball. We're gonna get one dice on the ball here. Are we gonna get two? He just needs to um, he needs to dodge the he needs to yeah pow this, and then he needs to dodge the guarder, and then you just get two die on the ball, don't you? What the numbers like right now? I can't count. Bad. This pitch. Bad. Eight. Bad for Eight for Sea Bros. Yeah, yeah. He's got to push for the ball. Versus eleven. Yeah. Oh yeah, big ball time. Yeah, yeah. He's just just got to dodge in the guard. And then I think dodge to hit as well. So you've got this one for the recovery. I'm like I'm yeah. all in here. Fair. Uh. I'm just all in. No messing. Like, it's so bad for him right now. Or you mm -hmm. could lie down, because it's only KO. Yeah, so you exactly. You could just lie yeah. down. Still have a third half. A third half? So I'm not saying you have to chuck everything at this in terms of rerolls, but I would chuck everything at it in terms of players. Like, I would definitely go for this dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, you definitely go for the dodge and then, you know, see if you have to make a decision on the reroll or not. There we go, he doesn't. You don't. 
So now, yeah, now you put this in with a GFR, yeah, it does better. Yeah, love this, love this. Oh, and now you have to reroll the GFI, unfortunately, you just have to. Well, do you? Do oh my you? god, he didn't have to reroll the hit, but he got the full pow! Oh, wait, if you're not rerolling the hit, I don't think you're rerolling the GFI, I don't know. But you guy can die if the GFI can't. Oh, maybe you shouldn't have rerolled any of it. Oh my goodness. Mm, that's what I'm saying. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe you should just blitz with this one, eh? And then not reroll. <laughs> <laughs> and then move the other rate. The other ghoul could have gone like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like the other ghoul could have been here. Mm. Mm. I don't know, it's hard. And then the other ghoul could have also dodged off. So you could have had a screen of ghouls Wait. here. Oh, yeah, he's undead. I was like, how does he have so many ghouls? I thought yeah. he was never. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it now, right? If he had this ghoul here. And oh, oh what was that? That's... Wait, why didn't you go with the big up? I don't what know. the fuck was that? He wanted to get the other one. Was he around. gonna pass it? Was he gonna pass it to that ghoul? I don't know. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He was gonna pass it. I reckon he was gonna fucking pass it and score. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, pass? No, that's crazy. Like what so so why didn't he move the vessel ghoul? It wasn't a if, pass if he was... action. Oh, okay. Well, so... then, what the fuck was he doing? Why I don't didn't know. He go? I don't know. I don't know why he didn't go in. No. Maybe he was going to just try and screen. But again, if you're going to try and screen, then you still move that one first so that the other one just needs to get to there. So, yeah, really weird. Oh, no. What a disaster from Seabros. Both rerolls gone. And defense. Yeah. It's just not in tatters about the yet. Yeah, it's not in so tatters yet. So he just gets yet. sucked in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Olivier Dulac is of course yeah been number one tabletop for years and is the Euro Bowl champion, and you know everyone on tabletop knows who he is and of he's a lovely fella as well and uh, and Dimi's a lovely fella and uh, you know he's got more into tabletop hasn't he, Dimi, than uh, than online. Oh yeah, he's completely he's obsessed by tabletop now. Yeah, yeah, he used to just being online and now he's. He identifies as a tabletopper rather than a rather than an online. No, oh, that's funny, isn't it? Look, like putting in two rerolls there. Yeah. Do you know what? I would have done the same as he rolls and then had this regret, basically. Yeah, but. Um, but yeah, looking. But back, if Seabors had made those dice, he'd be sitting there saying, "Wow, yeah, what a what a player!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, no. It's so hard. A lot of these things are just so hard, and it's it's kind of easy to fall into the trap of thinking there's an obvious approach when a lot of the time there's not. Obviously, sometimes there is, but a lot of the time there's not, and there's such close decisions to make. It's so hard. Yeah. But looking at like the safety and how good the end the end state was actually pretty good, right? Even if you just push him, you've got a guard there, you've got a wrestle ghoul there, and you're screening like the fact that this guy was in a really good square. If there was another ghoul there, right? So you could have you could have blitzed with him, put that ghoul to that square, and then this ghoul could have gone in this square, and you'd have had like a nice screen. And you've so if you could have visualized that as your like worst state you'd have thought that's pretty good right and using no rerolls very unlikely to use any rerolls then then you're yeah but then is that good enough to be Devo is the other question right whereas Seabros' mm -hmm. end state was getting the ball on the ground getting a good stat scatter and getting it and running away so so what I'm saying is it's hard to make those decisions really hard yeah yes Max yes yes that's correct that is correct I was trying not to give spoilers for the other semi-final, but I guess this is the second semi-final, so yes. Olivier did beat Dimi in an epic what? game. I know, I know. I, know. It was I heard Dimi got diced, little birdie told me. He did He did get a little bit diced, yeah. yeah. He rolled He rolled the dice to score in the first Dimi. half. But, uh, <laughs> in the third half, he definitely got a bit of a dicing. Oh, no. Oof. Oh no, wrestled. Oh, I'm dear. surprised he didn't try and free this, this mummy here though, right? Is that a ghoul top left above the fleshy? Could have, could have dodged the ghoul out, hit the yes. mummy, hit the fleshy, freed the mummy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that seems to be. And then like be... blitzed away one of those people, gone for the four plus pick up. Yeah, maybe tilted. Who knows? Well, he's doing it now. Yeah. He's already <laughs> used his blitz. Do you stand firm here, Steve? Yes. Because either way, he was still on the mummy, wasn't he? Yeah. So... Oh! Oh! Shit. Wow, is this sticks then? Seaboard is going to be looking at. Oh, it doesn't oh, stick. Oh, it doesn't stick. I was going to say that's the wolf and the fleshy regen, but the wolf was Crucifer's wolf <laughs> like two hours ago. <laughs> oh, and he skulls on the one day and stuns himself. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, Dimmy is the top 50 players in Hastings, so that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Well, you say it was a bad block to do, but the problem is if you don't do it, then you just get punched on 2D yourself, don't you? So it's rough. It's, it's one of those things like, is not blocking good enough? Probably not, right? Because he just stands up this zombie and 2Ds you. So you're 75% of getting knocked over. Whereas, of course, if you skull, it's really bad because now he's free to move and stuff, but it's... It's just tough. It's just really tough. Oh my god, okay. To not listening apparently is Max. <laughs> not a great listener is our Max. <laughs> well, I mean, you've not answered this question yet. I have done! I didn't hear it. I said, I just said it! I literally just said it before he, write, he wrote it. Mm. It was pub. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't hear either of you I just said it! You just said Dimmy was diced! I think it must have been. <laughs> M muted, that is, not diced. <laughs> well, how did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even commit to the bit! <laughs> I am here! <laughs> <laughs> he said it in that high pitch, <laughs> 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 well, yeah. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. <laughs> I can hear. <laughs> I can hear. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh man. Oh, can he can he change the mummy? He can. He can and, oh, shit. and will. Yeah, he can and oh, will. Shit. Instant. Wow. Instant mummy chain, in fact. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Confidently you can chain the mummy. <laughs> this, this is a wolf. This is a wolf. Yeah. And then yeah. you can put him in there. And then... we, but you can put that, that one on the floor in, can't you? Yeah, that yeah, one, the one that on just the floor, stood up. Yeah. Yeah. And you push in, push in. But yeah, it's just because the, the guard on the wraith, I was like trying to fucking count. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to cancel the ghoul, but then he's got. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, or, or just add all those, yeah. Oh, is that. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, why. No, oh, okay. oh no. You, you Wait, saying, what? Oh, it looked like. It looked like the, the fucking arrow. <laughs> the fucking arrow went below the flesh column. <laughs> it did, yeah. I was bamboozled as well. Yeah. 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 Um, we don't know when the final is, Max, because they've got to schedule it with each other. But yes, yeah, so I would. We would presume, you know, sometime next week, maybe Saturday. Um, Although now I'm thinking, should should he have put the arrow below the flesh column? Because he's got the <laughs> the ghoul to retrieve for easily. Yeah. Oh, oh God. fuck. <sighs> Dyson. Yeah, maybe you should have put the arrow behind. Yeah, maybe that would have been the play. That was a harsh one in nine, wasn't it? Mm. The thing that he's got going here for him is that Dave or Mike bolted up going to surf that shithead zombie. <laughs> 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 that's his big. Uh, that's his big chance. 
No, he's not. He's not fucking at all. I mean, he could. <laughs> no, <he's not>. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is still like not, yeah. not, not done, is it? I mean, it's it's just a two D to free this guy. Three. Yeah, and then like two D to free the wolf. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the biggest one, isn't it, with blocks? So this is really likely. But, like, you need more than this guy free, I think. Uh, um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I would have put the wolf here, and then the ghoul Yeah, there. I would have two. Yeah. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I would have put the ghoul there, the wolf there, ghoul there, and then this wolf, you know, one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, or something. Just the block first. Block. It's in the extra square. Yeah. Could jump over the uh, mummy. Doesn't, surprisingly. But yeah, this is like ultimately more secure, isn't it? When it all works. This is more secure than like doing it the other way and kind of screaming. Yeah. Oh man, see bros, the rush of blood. That ball sacking turn that cost him both three rolls, but yeah, how many times would it have worked and uh, he could have been clear away, so who knows. It's so hard to know, isn't it? I mean, we, it's impossible to know, but it's so hard to even vaguely accurately assess. Oh yeah. But I mean, that's only on the absolute razor's edge of optimization, isn't it? Really, like you know, it's still if you're doing one of those, it's still good, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like the likes of Seabros and Devo, mm. they're still doing. Maybe you know. I think those are the things. places where there are big gains to be made, though. Mm. Like the kind of the strategy, you know, rather than the d detail of like who goes in which square, the kind of what approach do we take this turn kind of mm. thing. I think those are the hardest questions and the ones where. There's potentially the largest difference between the kind of options that people are picking. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking Hancock. Oh my god. You horrible bastard Hancock. Mean. <laughs> um, I don't know about big games, right? Because this is the thing, right? You've got the RNG, haven't you? You've got the RNG. So, because you said, I remember this, you mm. said that you thought Magnus Carlsen dedicating his life to Blood Bowl wouldn't be too much better than k -Fog, right? No, no, I don't think you would, no. So, like, that I mean, means... what, Okay, well, if that's very loose, what does, what, what does better mean, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, whatever, like, win rate wouldn't be that much Well, higher. no, no, not whatever. Win rate I mean, wouldn't the, the, be much You can't say whatever, like, you know... <laughs> I just did! <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> the devil's with the detail. Well, what I mean is, so like, you know, let, let, let's say, let's say I'm a seventy but percenter, I, I, I agree and you're closely, a seventy-five yeah. percenter, and Kfog's an eighty percenter. Yeah, but what do those numbers even mean? Like those numbers are just fucking garbage. Like win rate is just true. the worth, worth, got worth of garbage metric there was. True, true. Okay, but let's say it's objectively the only win sure. measure. Sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so we're having a gauntlet of, you know, the top hundred play. Or, or you're playing, you're playing versus, you're playing versus an arbitrary person, multiple times, right? So K Fog will beat K Fog, five hundred times out of a thousand, and then you, you know, Magnus Carlsen will only beat him, you know, four hundred ninety-seven times. But then, so these big gains or whatever, how big are these big gains? Like it seems like they can't be that big. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah. Like the biggest gains are like doing safe moves first and maximizing two D blocks and stuff, and then that's getting you from like you know if you're starting and you don't know anything about blood ball and like you're a zero percent win rate coach, and then like reading the rules gets you to like ten percent, <laughs> and then like safe moves first gets you to like you know twenty five maybe, and then like maximizing two DBs gets you to fifty, and then stuff like that. Have you ever found an, any any other person in the universe who spells O as O W by the way? 
No. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's saying ow. Every time he says it, I think he's saying ow. He's actually saying ow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> you do not get your rerolls back in overtime. No. It's the accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never have done exactly as Pendo says. Never have done. But they don't. They don't affect the kicks. So at least he'll still just have a flat roll for kicks if he can make it to kicks. But rerolls do not refresh. No. Never have to. <laughs> Question from Seaboss. Seaboss is like, please let them move <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me I haven't fucked this. <laughs> but, you know, it didn't fuck it, did it? He could have just not, it could have been the right play and the wrong dice, ultimately. We just don't know. Mm -hmm. We just don't know. Now, I mean, usually Pendo, but, you know, Seabros ended up, you know, he could have played this defense more passively and then... But I think it was I think he was kind of right to go for it. You know, he's got four kills, but I guess he's going to get three of them back, right? And if he's a little bit lucky, he'll get all of them back. So maybe, maybe he should have gone more conservative. Oh, it's tough. It's really tough. I think receiving first is the best though, right? Because I like to use them, because you have to use your rerolls on your offense, right? You have to use them. Seabros didn't have to use them on defense, but you have to use them on offense because, like, otherwise you'd get sacked and turned over and lose, right? Like, Dave Hall just had to, had to put in the reroll when he did, otherwise he'd have just lost in normal time. So, I really do like receiving in an overtime format, but, yeah, that second half, I'm, like, I could see what Seabros was thinking, and I, at first... When it when it was when it was yet to happen, I agreed with him. And then as soon as it failed, <laughs> I thought, oh, actually, like, you know, not not because it failed, but I just realised how strong like the end state would have been of being more conservative. But I was like blinded by the, what if this is a success, you know? So it wasn't just results based analysis, though of course his result could have been amazing. Like he could have just piled, and he could have picked it up, and he could have been away. But but it was actually still really quite strong if he'd just, you know, taken the easy blitz without a re-roll and then one dodge to get there, so hard to say, isn't it? It's gonna 3D mummy smash. Good commentator wouldn't get so pent up over something that isn't worth that. Hancock's so so outrageous naughty, isn't he? Imagine Very naughty. having a go have, imagine having a go at Elliot. He is here. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Seabros hasn't lost his mummies yet. There we go. <laughs> so six so he'll get three back and then one back. So he could easily be down two. He could easily be in a really bad situation for, for overtime. Oh, he rolls very well. He got four back. But still two ghouls out. But still four out of six was very lucky, wasn't it? So he could yet have 11 for overtime. <laughs> Okay, okay, Uruguay. That was that was looking really bad at one point, but you pulled it back. <laughs> but yeah, good point. Very good point. Um, <laughs> Devo just has the complete generic, the complete generic cheerleaders, whereas C Rose has made the correct decision for halfling chicken cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that can be the tiebreaker I'll, do you know what I can write I can write for the next rules <laughs> I, can, I can write there'll be a secret tiebreaker to be decided by J5 <laughs> and then and then he could make a secret tiebreaker or it could be whoever's got a 
Whoever's got halfling cheerleaders. There's definitely going to be a rule for pitchers next season. Um, banning souls. Fucking bolt pitch. Jesus Christ. That's vile. I think we should ban all the pitchers. Well, not this one. <laughs> no, this one too. <laughs> I think this one's alright, and the Wood Elf one and the Halfling one. They're, they are my three acceptable pitchers. Ban them all. <laughs> if only you could get, like, a, a fumble-style one, and then icons with just T for thrower and B for blitzer and L for lineman. <laughs> Mm, dunno, I might be going a bit far now. <laughs> Playing our mind palaces exactly. Seabro's hoping for a riot here. Doesn't get it. And with those guards, uh, they probably don't want to risk a mighty blow hit, do they? So maybe they don't do anything to disrupt these 3D hits. Yeah, I'm going to just claw a zombie. Could blockless blitz the guarder. Oh, it's perfect defense. Oh my god. Errata, errata. It's not a blitz. In my mind palace it was a blitz. The only thing that matters is banging out now, isn't it? He's got to start banging. The sea brawls. Ugh. Wouldn't have done that. Okay. The ghoul could blitz, couldn't it? On 3D. <laughs> Jesus. Take the skull. No. I've done that before, I don't recommend that. Do a pass. Peaky zombie pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seabros could get lucky now, right? This this zombie could stay out and his two ghouls could come back. But even if he only gets one back, if he wins the toss, it's not terrible, right? He could he could try no, and bang yeah. it in and and get it to kicks. But I feel like if he loses. You have thought it to an opponent good. player, throw it to the fleshy. Yeah. Yes, I always like throw it to the opponent. <laughs> Okay, one back. Zombie stays out, so yeah. Mm. Even what is it, Steven? 10 versus 10? Yeah. Ah, oh, David wins the toss. Oh. So. Not that, not that I'm anti Devo, but for the game, it's. Uh, uh huh. It's not ideal, is it? Because I think this will just be an easy Devo win now. But it's not over. It's not over. He's. You know. It is ten aside, but Seabros is down more on quality, isn't he? Seabros is missing a ghoul and a a tackle white and a block ghoul, whereas Devil's is missing two rookie zombies. So it's uh, while it is ten v ten, it's still very much uh, in Davos's favour. Uh huh. What you taking to Tulians, Elliot? Tulians. Tulian? I don't know, not, not signed up yet. The undead are fully painted. The undead are painted. I know that the undead are painted. Mm -hmm. One <laughs> thing I know about your tabletop proclivities is mm -hmm. that the undead are definitely painted. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. When is Tulians? It's like two weeks or something. Wow. It's in Sheffield, isn't it? The outpost. Yeah. Is it a one uh -huh. or a two a day? 
two uh two uh this is the thing if it was a one uh easy sign up two days like if i start my fucking job before then like imagine working for a week and then playing two fucking days of blood bowl and then working for another week what the fuck yeah yeah that's that's what my friend used to do and it was he wasn't happy he was no. he was about as unhappy as you'd imagine yeah uh-huh <laughs> i don't think i could do that Second, that's too that's too early for me. Plus, it's like clashing with the World Cup. Really, the, world, the weekends at the World Cup are going to be when the most games are. Right, so I could I could mm. come back from it and then have to like cast twenty games, <laughs> which I'm not, you know, super enthused about. Fortunately for Seabrolls, this looks like it could be Devo versus ODL. Whoa. I gotta say, the Necro gotta be favourite for that, haven't they? Um, oh, yeah. All the stand firm and the side steppers. And, uh, Devo could become the first ever two time Blood Bowl Super League champion. Mm hmm. I should have gone Necro <laughs> My bloody orc. To be fair, I think there's a lot of dice, isn't there? I don't think my, my team is very good with a troll, but there's still a lot of dice, isn't there? Like, you know, it's, it's a weird one, Orcs isn't it? Orcs never go very well when I play them. Uh, like, literally, because I didn't make the playoffs with a Necro, I was like, I've got to use Orcs then, and then the Orcs did worse. But who knows? Who knows if it was... The dice or the team or the coach. Sad. What I might do for future Super Leagues is uh, come up with my own format. Nah, thanks. I'm not going, Steve. It's too. It's too. It's too. Uh, it's too close to the World Cup. Basically, is the biggest thing. Yeah, just clashing, like just clashing. I don't know. I don't want to just take a whole weekend away. Um, so I might make my own my own perfect format. You know, it's like more skills and more money than NAF style. But NAF style is limited by tabletop logistics, isn't it? Mm. And obviously inertia of people playing the same way for 20 years and never wanting to change um, whereas I could be like right let's try 7 skills for tier 1 teams <laughs> or 8 skills for tier 1 teams oh my god City yeah. Bros has not had the dice this game oh Yeah, who knows? Maybe that was the right play to put those rerolls in. Do you ever, like, visualise end states, Elliot? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, like, you, you know that, that blitz? That, that, that turn that he blitzed? Yeah. Would you, like, would you be able to see in your mind palace the board state after you've dodged the white round, you've blitzed with the ghoul, you've pushed it, and then you've moved the other ghoul across, and then you dodge the other ghoul out to screen. Would you see all that board state and then think this looks good? Or I mean, no, sometimes yes, sometimes no, right? And if I had done that, I think I would have been quite happy with it and gone with it. Uh huh. But I didn't do it. I just thought, oh, I'm fucked. I've got to, I've got to sack the ball and run away with it. You know. So I think Some, I... sometimes there were just so many branching paths. It's very difficult to visualize end states because there's so many and none of them are that likely yeah. other times it's very obvious what you want the end state to be and what you can make the end state to be and that's very easy to visualize yeah yeah i generally like when you're like breaking through and stuff isn't it like you're screening you know you you, you always think like oh the, the ball will be here and i'll have a guy here and a guy here and a guy here or whatever like you always think that don't you 
But, yeah, um, for example. Yeah, but this one, if if I'd seen that, you know, which wasn't ridiculous, right? It was a three plus to get him round, and then you just don't re-roll that three plus ever. I don't, I don't think you ever re-roll the first three plus. Then you the do that. assist. Yeah. And then if you get him in, then think right. Well, if I if I just push him, because that's like the worst possible case, isn't it? Is you just push him. And even if I push him, I get to move that guy onto there and dodge that guy, and then everything was pretty screened. It was it was like really quite good if if you just push. So, but you know, I'm sure I'm sure I thought exactly the same way as Seed was, which was fuck me, I'm fucked. I've got to I've got to get lucky and get the ball away here. But I didn't really. I mean, I didn't um, think of <laughs> the end state of a decent turn. This is just rough now, isn't it? He's not even like he's not even men down. He's he's player quality down, and he's re rolls down, and that's enough, isn't it? This is just looking horrible for him. It is, yeah. Not seventy percent to win anymore. No, no. Substantially, yeah. Lesh. I thought he'd have blitz with a mummy, honestly. Just try and get lucky. Bang. There we go. There's a lucky bang. Oh. That's actually Hello. pretty good, isn't it? That's a pretty good little bang there. It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> pretty good, all right. He's not giving up, Sea Brawls. Oh no, no. Like, the, the lack of rerolls does put you on, like, ooh. Do you know what? I like just leaving him where he was and then dodging out to, like, make a sideline. Mm. This might. But he needs to get lucky, right? So. He does. Oh, he stayed, wow. Oh, oh my, my god, god he got lucky. <laughs> he really got lucky, yeah. Okay, wow. Holy fuck. Wow, Holy what a swing. Fuck. What a yeah, swing. Yeah, it's on. It's fucking on. <laughs> So now Seabros has the quality and the numbers. But Devo has the ball. <laughs> huh. But only three players that, that can touch it, right? Essentially. And eight right, total. All of them can touch it. Eight, not really. <laughs> yeah, they can. <laughs> well, these two can't. They can. <laughs> they haven't got hands. <laughs> yeah, but they can touch it. <laughs> they can't. They're, they're ethereal. They can. They can't touch it. That's not what the animation suggests. Oh wow, the animation suggesting thing. There's there's a distinct bubble. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hold it. I'd say they can't touch it. Yeah, how do they trip? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're, that's easy, right? Their uh, their chains and stuff get stuck in. Uh... How do they touch the chains? <laughs> Well, these are just real chains, right? They're real chains. They're yeah, real so how do they touch them if they're real? If they're ethereal, how do they touch them? How is the chain, like, holding in the air? Why does it just fall on the floor? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. They can touch the ball, Jerry. Oh, shit, yeah. Why, 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 don't, why don't they have hands? <laughs> <laughs> like when Patrick Swayze pushes. <laughs> yeah. See, all of the no-hands rules are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's outrageous. Oh, dear. They animated to hold the ball and they kick outrageous. Oh my god, well there's a removal straight back for Devo. Sea Bros' uh, optimism short lived. Yeah, it's not bad though, like a flesh in a wolf for a zombie, you know, we take that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still he's still a player up and he's still like he's still ahead on quality, yeah. right? So yeah. yeah, it's still great. Still a great trade for Devo. Oh my god, three plus makes it. Outrageous. Wow! Did you just three D the uh, ghoul there, right? Because it's an outlet. I actually love three Ding the ghoul here. Love it. I love it. You ever seen a uh, naked gun? Nope. nope. Um, naked gun was a, an enjoyable movie for young Jim. He has not done it. I, I really like three Ding here because again, there's only there's only like three players that can touch the ball. Oh, no, he's still is he blitzing the fleshy? I don't know. 
<laughs> no, I think it's blitzing them. Oh, maybe not. Could be blitzing this mummy, right, and then getting it in. True. Yeah, could. yeah, because then the guard comes and then oh no, no, he's blitzing the guard. Oh, and then just move, it, but then just move the mummy in. Yeah, I don't get the mighty blow bang though. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with not mighty blow banging. Yeah, I quite. I quite like three D three Ding him because then like you obviously you might remove him because it's three D with mighty blow, and then uh, also like he's got the wolf this side as well like so he's got all three players this side kind of even though they don't look it if because he's in the middle it looks more like that even but they've got the open route this side haven't they like he's got more stuff this side so i kind of liked blitzing this to like bang it in and try and envelop him more and also so keep all three outlets together and kind of controlled a bit and also you know hopefully remove one because it's just mm -hmm. these are his only three players aren't they that, that can touch uh -huh. the ball Hold the ball. Technical. <laughs> <laughs> How do chains even work? Yeah, the chains are glued on. To what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the chains make no sense. I'm completely bamboozled. Well, sheets don't make sense, in fact. How, no, what, what is the no. sheet going on? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, none of it makes sense. If you can hold a sheet, you can hold a ball. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I had a dream. I had a dream about if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> and it was like it was blood ball. It was blood ball. And it, and I said, if you can catch a if you can catch a wrench, you can catch a ball. And then just threw a wrench at somebody's head. <laughs> but it was playing blood ball. Like it was. It wasn't a blood ball. It wasn't a. It wasn't a if blood ball was real scenario. It was a playing blood ball with little man. <laughs> but he oh, failed to catch. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a wrench thrown out. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, this is tricky for Dave, isn't it? This is, this is perked up, actually. Those two removals have really made a, a touch and go. It's just... The, the problem is it's so scary for sea brawls, isn't it? Like, the, the, with that, no rerolls, you're just on a constant knife edge of... If you get an early yeah. turnover, you will just lose. Mm hmm <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks Steve, yeah, yeah, there is, there is coaching available. Uh, I will not throw a wrench at you though, promise. <laughs> oh, okay, Keith. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point, Cobblestone. Their hands are holding the sheet. And then if they oh. let go, you'd see all of their bits. So they don't oh. <laughs> One in nine, though, for Devo to be in a bad spot. Not lose. No. Oh. Skull. Rerolls. Skull. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I wonder. Yeah. It was like, if you're putting in the reroll, it's better than dodging, right? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the thing. I'm just wondering if you are putting in the reroll. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, this is still tricky. Like, with the fucking Wraith there as well. This is... There's no rerolls. If there was if there yeah, was rerolls, yeah. this would be yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god, game over. But. Yeah. Now, I mean, you've got to block this block the Wraith, see what happens. Um, I, I mean, you, you don't. You can get around the back with the two ghouls, right? The mummy way. Yeah, it's a GFI. But yeah, I'd definitely be tempted to, you know, go for the block. Yeah, see what happens, I, feel yeah. Like, I feel like this is so good, this blockless block. Yeah. Oh, that's a zombie. Fuck me, I thought oh. that was a fucking ghoul. No, oh, no, it is a ghoul. ghoul. <laughs> 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 yeah, but he's not GFIing. And then he makes this blockless block first. So I maybe he's going to 1D the ball, or... Or just base right. the ball? Just base the ball? And then blitz the wolf and stand and like sandwich the goo, right? Mm. That's okay, is it isn't enough? it? Well, yeah, it's, okay. it's a lot safer. The, the big thing about it is. is it's a lot safer. It is, but. It's safe enough. Mm. 
Getting the tag in first is nice, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, he's just tagging here as well. Vessel kill is coming. Ah, uh, yes, That's yes. the pow. Oh, my goodness. But the problem is he could... Oh, no, it doesn't matter why he side steps. So he's just got to not follow now. Yeah. And make the dodge. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Fails the dodge. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. A moat incoming. No. no. We've gone past the moat, Seavors. <laughs> oh. I think Dave was still in a pickle. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Funny how it changes when you're like completely out of rerolls, isn't it? And like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's earlier would have been a bit like you know, right? Like where would have been, would have been like zombie in here, GFI, blitz the ball, yeah. right? But then without rerolls, yeah. It's, but then you know, without rerolls, maybe Dave all plays differently as well. But probably not too differently because he's getting shit on a little bit with the removals. So. Mm. Probably would have got if he just if he just yeah maybe he's conservative, conservative is maybe he's up like you know ninety nine percent of the time. But uh, it's funny because that's one of the things that people I think often get wrong is where like you know they'll base the ball or whatever versus an elf mm -hmm. and it's like what the fuck's the point? Do you know what I mean? Like you you're way more likely to have like you know uphill double powered him even right because then you've got a reroll for that. Uh -huh. So. You're better off trying to uphill double power him. Oh, oh, oh I mean, that's pretty big though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess he hasn't got that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I feel like block would have been better though. <laughs> Uh -huh. The sea brawls right there, but it is good having the wrestlers to get the ball. Unfortunate that this one stunned, isn't it? Because not, I mean, even if he mm. just failed the dodge, you'd have still been out there. Are we seeing a, do a move back to the side, maybe. Man, this is tricky, isn't it? Oh, he what? went for the dodge. Fuck me. <laughs> I do not like dodge. a dodge. No, that seems no. crazy. One, two, three, four. I guess it's four instead of two, right? One, two, three, mm. four, five, six, seven. Yeah, fair. Whereas it's it's like it is a long way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like you don't get anywhere, yeah. do you? But no. one in nine. I mean, this the other one in nine that he made wasn't losing him the game. Whereas this one. Yeah. Still hasn't lost him the game, but boy howdy does it look a lot worse. Yeah, we need a need a three plus pick up basically and then the game is looking really uh <laughs> in yeah. doubt. Yeah, you just gotta blitz the wolf with the wrestle, right, and then screen mm -hmm. it. Four, five, six, seven. Gets the full power. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it wasn't a one in nine to lose, but it was damn close to losing. I mean, he can't do the GFI, can he? He's just got to uh, no, no. pick up, can't do anything else. He can uh, free a zombie and then leap a wolf and then do some <laughs> GFIs to uh, to screen. Yeah, he could he could free this zombie um, like later, but first mm -hmm. he has to go for the pickup. Yeah, doesn't well, then make he can definitely it. leap the zombie. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. And if he powered him, close one. One, two, three, four. GFI foul. That's that would have been the player, wouldn't it, if he picked it up? Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a jump. It would have been a zombie jump into yeah, foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this, this is really looking like kicks now, isn't it? At best for Dave, it, it went from brilliant to a disaster with that wolf removal, and then shortly followed by the fleshy. Or fleshy shortly followed by a wolf, whichever one it was. Can't remember. But the wolf particularly, just because they've got so little mobile, have they? That's the problem. Like, the, you know, the, when the shit hits the fan, the wraiths are really kind of sad that they can't do things. Oh my god, it gets Ooh. a full power. Wow. That is outrageous. On a thing. That's outrageous. Oh, he's gone. Wow. Them. Outrageous. Ooh, in a tackle zone, though. Ooh. 
Yeah, I, I kind of realised cobblestone, which is why I vaguely corrected myself. <laughs> but, um, wow, that was... Um, that's huge as well, isn't it? Getting the removal, flip me. Now it swung, it swung back again. The devil might be getting the... Uh, oh, well, that... The defensive ghoul is good, but it means he's only really got the wolf as an outlet, hasn't he? Fails the pickup. Is there is there anything he can do? He's got this ghoul free now. But it doesn't go anywhere. He can free up this zombie but it doesn't do anything you can free up this zombie but it doesn't do anything so I think you probably just got to punch the punch the wolf right because it's a scoring threat and get this ghoul down near the action some somewhere close to the action safe moves first get the get the ghoul up and moving and then maybe here, right, so that you hmm. can uh, put the wolf on it. Maybe basing the wolf. And then he's just got to go and base one of them, I guess. And then do you just go for a 1D? Just 1D this guy. Huge. <laughs> okay, Devil's definitely just playing for kicks now, I think. Mm. This zombie could, like, blitz this ghoul, can, couldn't he? But then you've got to, like... Then you've just got to dodge out on a three, then pick it up on a four, then dodge again. You might as well just one him then. But you can't two D him, can you, is the problem. He can't really one D or blitz and run around. Oh, so this this zombie can come down. Oh yeah, okay. This zombie can come down, and then he can blitz the blitz the wraith, and then on a pow, he can move it around. Yeah, okay. This is good. Goodbye, sea bros. Yeah. So this guy blitzes now. Are we not just tempted just to one d blitz the ghoul. Yeah. Yeah, we are. P plus D um, plus. Let's go. I don't know. I I, I honestly I prefer the uh, blitz. I prefer it just because it's safer, right? Like. You've still got two yeah, turns but after safe. this. Blitz him, I and then know. if you pow, you can come around and then block I mean, him big again. If, if you get the foul appearance, if you pow, yeah. if you don't pow, the guard's like on both your players. Yeah. But now if you skull, he just picked yeah. it up. Yeah, but... Like, but yeah, he's not scoring, is he? At least Dave wasn't scoring with the, with the wolf. Go on. What a game! Right. That, that the kill shot one D was ridiculous because if he has that other zombie there, then and it was a wrestle one as well, wasn't it? Then the other zombie just two D blitzes with wrestle and mm. then and then C bros is away. Yeah, the failure state was was just death. This was the, this was the problem, wasn't it? The the failure state was just death. So I you know before it failed, I, I preferred the. Uh, Oh my god, Keith. Yep, thank you, Keith. <laughs> oh my god. What a maroon. We, uh, we've not blitzed yet, right? This fleshy's gonna score. Oh my god, yeah, the fleshy, yeah, the fle oh, yeah, he can touch the ball. Oh my god, it's not over. He Don't can touch the ball, it. he can hold the ball, he can score with the ball. He hasn't blitzed. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, what? He's he's gonna score on the wraith. <laughs> <laughs> this this school, I guess, right? He's gonna like try and oh yeah, dodge double GFI or something. But could have could have blitzed as well, right? Yeah, yeah, could've definitely. The fleshy, should've. And... fleshy should have a hundred percent blitzed. He would have got a fifty fifty to, to score. Oh, he's up hilling out. Oh, that doesn't seem really yeah. better than dodging, does it? It is. It is. Like both that works, right? But still. Yeah. 
I mean, I know it's better, but like compared to this one blitzing and just definitely being in range first. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But now it looks pretty good. <laughs> now all of a sudden, that 1D looks disastrous. And Devo's got a chance. Flip me. I guess you have to blockless block? First? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you get the assist and the wrestle blitz. No, no. Or oh, you do 2D with the right hand zombie, mummy. And then do 3D with the left hand mummy. Oh, zombie. yeah. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's, I like that. I like that, Eliod. Eliod. Mm. Yeah, that's much better. I am here. <laughs> he fucking turns up finally. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah. Two D the two D this zombie with a mummy and three D this guy with a mummy. Then that lets you put this zombie to like here and then this blitz is in. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? That's that's the only play. Unfortunately you can't make it three D. This guy can't go anywhere relevant. This guy can't go anywhere relevant. I mean, make him a scoring threat first, I guess, right? Make this guy a scoring threat. Just put him there. Technically a scoring threat there. Cheerfly with a zombie? Oh, maybe that's just in case he doesn't pow here, right? Ooh, I think the Cheerfly was wrong, but. Mm, yeah. Wrestles him. That's good, isn't it? I think that stops him. That's, uh, yep. <coughs> and then the fleshies out of range. And there's only one player in range for Seabulls. Oh, I guess this way he gets to... Can, can he double GFI? One, two, three, four. He can double GFI and threaten the ball for the counter oh. score. Oh, but he doesn't... Oh, 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 with that guy there. I thought yeah. Huh. yeah, so here we go. Let's not go then. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, it's going to kicks. Like... Basically, going. I mean, to? it's going to the main menu screen. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited. They're actually pretty good, right? It does the roll off properly. Like it does. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Wow. Have you not seen it, Alan? No. The uh, the logos are on the correct, are correct, but the names are reversed. Like. <laughs> so yeah. That's not great, is it? No. <laughs> 24 turns, and then the Germans went on penalties. But in this case, it's the Danish or the English. I still think I won that Nav Cup match. <laughs> <laughs> is there, there's not even technically a way now, is there? No. Should just jump over his own player, right? I ju the mummy should jump over this uh, wraith just so we can see the animation. I've never seen a jummy mummy jump over an animation. A jummy, a jummy, a jummy mump over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the jummy mump over. So what 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 happens with this is Sea Bros is the is the home team, right? So on on Devo's screen. Seabros is on the left-hand side still, right? Even though Devo should be on the left-hand side. So Devo will see his team name on the left-hand side. So it will, it will look like he's rolling that and his logo is wrong. Like, it's so bad that it looks to one of the players 
like it looks like their logo is wrong and to the other player it looks like the the team name is wrong but it is actually the team name that's wrong and that it doesn't put like the it doesn't put how. the active team on the left hand side i'm lost yeah it's crazy it's absolutely crazy here we go 50 50 who's gonna win Seabro's just refusing to end the turn here. Do the jummy mump over. Yeah, fuck me. I should have fouled the aim. <laughs> oh, we got him there. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Roll offs. Very exciting. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus, Seabro. <Jesus> nice. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> Is he going to let his bo bo bonus time burn down as well? No, here we go. Devo is 1-0 ahead. Devo's 2-0 ahead. Seabro's win. Come back, he's on. Devo oh, no, wins. And then Seabro's And then Seabro's wins the last one to cast wide out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, but yeah, on Seabrose's screen, he'll have looked like... Uh, no, no, on Devo's screen, it'll look like Devo's lost, right? Because Devo's seeing this screen, except... Um, yeah, Devo's seeing this screen, right? Devo's just seeing this exact screen. So obviously he thinks that episode 6 Zombie Ewoks is right, because that's what side he's on, right, on his screen. So it's just it's just totally fucked that it doesn't have like your team on the left when you see it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's absolutely so dumb that you see your team name. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at his screen now. He he sees this exact same screen, even though he's on the left. So he thinks that he's 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 lost because of, he looks at the team name and thinks, oh, they've got the logos the wrong way around. Why wouldn't so you? So what think does that? he look sad? Looks really sad, and then and then he looks really happy when he's when he's <laughs> when he's found out that it was <laughs> the game is a bit shit. Um, <laughs> sad, confused, happy. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> just like the Blood Bowl three release uh, in reverse. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really bad. Yeah, it's really really bad. Um, anyway, but there you go. So Dave all wins. Seabros loses. Um, you know, obviously, commiserations to Seabros. Congratulations, Devo. Devo might be the first ever double winner because he's got he's got a good racial matchup in the final. Necromantic versus yeah. Devo, and uh, of course Olivier Delac. You know, he had a he had a couple of subpar seasons to Olivier Delac, but then he was only like allowed like you know uh, one point rules pack, but then he was allowed the two points rules pack, which is what he was actually using at Euro Bowl. Then he did very well and won his group and beat Dimmy. So, yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see a fully powered Dulac. However, of course, he's not going to get the the good, the good great one turn that he's had in the other games because of the uh, sidesteppers. But he's still got he's still got Stan, uh, he's still got Juggernaut, right? So the, the Stan Firm isn't such a big deal. Um, but, you know, there might be all sorts of things happening. Um, so there you go. Right. Thank you, Elliot. It was lovely having you in the booth. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.